Julian Keenan just gets in behind Emma Dunhu. Dunhu's got back goal side, but the early cross goes in. Danny Shreve doesn't get it. Emily Corbett has a chance here. Emily Corbett makes a 1 0 for it, Lone Town. It's a super goal from back to front, Alan. See it here. And Gillian crossed, yeah. Great touch. Emily Corbett's touch. Yeah, straight into the middle of the goal and buried it. Yeah, it was a clinical finish, it's got to be said. It looks that like that might be it. It's a good free kick and it's gone in all the way. It's an equaliser for Wexford. I think it, uh, Nick the was closest to it, but I think it went straight in. Yeah, we we'll just see it on the replay here, but I think a Wexford player let it through the legs, just yeah, jumped over Nick it almost. Yeah. Yeah. Does really well, Sinnott, yeah, because it, it left kind of yeah. Coombs kind of unsighted and uh, it's a good equaliser. 72 minutes gone, it's, it's a blown town one. It's a really good delivery into a dangerous area. And the ball is headed across, it's 2 1 for Wexford, just like that in the space of two minutes. Is that Jess? That could be Jess Lawler, actually, on the back post. Looked like Jess Lawler now. Yeah, it's a substitute. Jess Lawler yeah. has put Wexford 2 1 up here. Yeah. Been fancy. yeah, did very well. Again, that's the final whistle, and it's uh, three points for Wexford here in Atlone after Atlone took a 1 0 lead uh, through Emily Corbett. But uh, goals from uh, Jess Lawler and Ella Malloy, who got the free kick, the first goal, two set pieces undone Atlone uh, eventually. But very tight game, Alan. 